Some of the questions I get asked most often are about the different types of resin out there. Now the topic of resin is a huge one, and I certainly cannot cover all of that today, but in this video I will explain to you the difference between two types of resin, the type that cures under a UV light, and the type that you have to mix multiple parts together. Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. When I'm talking about resin, I mean the kinds of things we use in our jewelry making and crafts. It's actually fascinating to consider just how many things in our daily lives are made of specialized resins. Things for electrical insulation, protective helmets, and even auto repair and airplane components. When I think of the resins I use for crafts, I separate them into two main types by the way they cure. The first kinds are the ones that cure under UV light. This can be a nail lamp, or this can be the light of the sun. These are called UV resins. It says right on it, cures with a UV light or indirect sunlight. And these are super easy to use because they don't require any mixing of separate parts. You simply pour them out of the bottle into your mold or onto your piece, and then put them outside in the sunshine or under your nail lamp. Now if you want to learn more about nail lamps and curing UV resin, I'll link to a video that I've done on that. The second type of resin comes in two parts. There is a base resin and a hardener or a catalyst. And when these two are separate, they don't do anything. But when they're mixed in the proper proportions, a chemical reaction happens and they cure. Now within this category of resin, there are many different types. There's polyester, there's polyurethane, there's silicon, there's epoxy. And you can see here from these bottles, they all have different proportions. They're all two parts, but they all have different proportions. This one by Art Resin is equal amounts. So you mix together an equal amount of each part and it will cure. But this one from Resin Obsession, you can tell just by the different sizes of the bottles that the proportions are different. This one you mix two parts of A with one part of B. And this one is really complicated and annoying to work with. It's a polyester resin. You have to figure in uh, how many layers you're going to use, how many ounces of resin, how many drops of catalyst. It's, yeah, it's tricky. And each brand of resin has differing amounts of time. You can work with them before they start to cure and different ways you can use them, such as for pouring deep thicknesses or coating surfaces. Many thanks to those of you who have decided to support me on Patreon. It makes a big difference. If you like my videos, don't forget that patrons have the opportunity to get up to two bonus tutorials every month. But the most important thing you can do when using any resin is to very carefully read and follow the directions for your particular product. It's not like cooking where you can substitute a little bit of this or a little bit of that and close is often good enough. This requires precision and exacting attention to detail. And some of these resins can be very dangerous to work with. They have noxious smells and often you need to use a ventilator or a respirator. The important thing to note here is that once you properly mix the two parts of your resin together, the curing will happen. Sitting it out in the sun or under a UV light will make absolutely no difference. It just needs the proper amount of time and it, the chemical reaction will happen. Whereas with the UV resin, you can leave it out forever. And as long as it is out of UV light, it will never ever cure. Now there's one more thing that might be confusing. One of the difficulties people have with the two-part resins is that due to being exposed to light, they turn yellow over time. Some brands are better at not yellowing than others, and some bottles of resin will be labeled UV resistant. Don't be confused. This has nothing to do with how the resin cures, but only how well it retains its clear color and doesn't turn yellow. So if you want to learn more about the different types of resin available for your crafts, I have links to several videos up here in the upper right and also in the video description to help you.